Welcome back to our continuing coverage. Not in the direct path of this L, but definitely taking a toll. We are talking about the Valley Isle, where we're getting some dramatic pictures and video of the damage tonight. Our Brenton Awa has been surveying the land. He's joining us live from Maui with the latest Brenton. Hey, Paula, we're out in Kahului. Um, no rain anymore, just a little bit of wind. People are out on the roadways into the shopping mall over here. And um, they're kind of uh, just getting back to their business. Now, a lot of them uh, didn't feel the effects of the storm, but that wasn't the case for all parts of Maui. In history, it's, it's probably the worst wind that we've had at Ulupalakua Ranch ever. People were calling it a war zone. Kula Highway on the way to Ulupalakua is always a windy drive, but today it was also a windy mess, with trees all over the road stranding hundreds of residents from getting past. Between four and six, it became constant gusts and uh, trees bending down, roofs flying, sheds down, trees dropping, power lines all over the road. It just kept howling and howling and howling uh, like we've never seen. Trees were down. That was a common scene. Roofs were peeled back. Some were put into the street or in other places they don't belong. This warehouse used to stand tall, used as a cover for heavy machinery. Now it's going to need that machinery to get it removed. It was crazy. Um, the center of it actually picked up. The wind picked up the whole center of it and then just collapsed. Yeah. And that, that happened about probably quarter after six this morning. The wind damage wasn't just at Ulupalakua Ranch. Out in Makawao, trees were also down on power lines. Maui Electric crews have been out there all night trying to restore power to its 3,000 affected customers. Just 200 of those are still waiting for the help after waiting out the weather. It was a tough time, but. It happens very often, but we do it. We do it for the kind. We just do what we gotta do. We're very fortunate this time that the Big Island took the brunt of the blow from the hurricane, and uh, itself has sort of dissipated to a, to a large degree, uh, moving southward. To, uh, Mayor Arakawa gave the all clear this afternoon, but he's still uh, sending the message out to um, be safe, be cautious, just in case of any remnants of this storm come through. Reporting live on Maui, I'm Brenton Owa for KITV4 News.